So today we're baking uh, chocolate chirpy chip cookies. That's my daughter crying in the background. It's a grumpy time of night. Right now I've got about a hundred uh, fresh field crickets in my wife's colander. She loves it when I use her baking goods. And we're uh, just getting them all washed up here, getting them nice and clean. You can see, there they are. Nice adult crickets. And pretty soon we're going to dry roast them up in the oven and then we will get them into the cookie dough. So we got them all washed up and now they are here on my wife's lovely cookie baking dish. So if you ever have regular cookies from me, beware. And now we are going to toss them right into the oven and we are going to dry roast them for about two hours and then we're going to make up some good, good cookies. In the meantime, I'm going to reach in here and here we have a bunch of mealworms. We're going to get those going here in a minute too. And we're going to make up some basically mealworm potato chips. Um, I haven't decided what flavor I'm going to make them yet, but you guys will be tasting them on Friday. All right. Okay, so they've been cooking for about an hour on 225. We're continuing to dry roast our crickets. And we're going to grab one out here. Time to do a little taste test. Pick a good one. That one looks like a good one right there. Oh, that'll be a nice, nice good one. All right, put this here. And grab it in. Mm, getting pretty crispy. Not quite there yet. So we'll uh, let them go a little bit longer, and then we'll get them out and start getting them in the cookies. Okay, the crickets are fresh out of the oven. You can hear them. Nice and crispy, pan fried. You can see here we got some legs and whatnot, and that's the next step. So we gotta sort of do some rolling right now. And is what I'm doing is I'm trying to get the legs off and get the uh, antennae off because we just want to put the bodies into the into the mix. Or it would be like Boris said today in aquatics lecture, or it, as he says in aquatics lecture, that uh, you'll be picking them out like little toothpicks, and so we don't want those parts. So I'm going to break that up and then I'm going to get the batter going and then we're going to bake up some cookies and I'll show you once the product gets going. So we've got the legs all separated and you can see that there's just a bunch of cricket legs there and so that is now gone and then so what we have here is the cricket bodies and my lovely wife is the one that's helping me videotape right now. I chased her out of the house earlier. She hates the fact uh, that I use her cooking utensils. So now we got to get these crushed up to put into the cookie batter and the best way to do it, uh, especially if you're with little kids, is just to get hands in there and you can just hear them. A nice crunching. My wife's looking away so I don't even know if she's paying attention to what's on there. Oops, one fell out. Um, kids love this but it's what you have to make sure of with kids is that you can get, it, uh, there are some insect allergies, especially chitin, uh, which is an allergy to the exoskeleton. Remember, chitin is the exoskeleton. And so you have to make sure of that. It's a shellfish allergy as well. So if they have shellfish allergies, they shouldn't um, eat insects, and neither should you. So we have the cookie dough made up. Uh, the black things are not crickets. Those are the chocolate chips. The crickets are over here. So we're just taking them. I've minced them up. And so we just take a nice handful and we sprinkle around. My wife's grossing out so she's not really paying attention to her duties again. So we get them in there and then we just fold it in real nice and knead it together. The cookies are going to be pretty small because there's so many of you but I doubt that all of you guys will eat them even though you really should because they're high in protein, high in saturated fat and if you remember we're the only culture in the world who doesn't have it as a mainstay of the diet. Which is why I live here. All right, guys, so here is a finished product, which you guys are going to be enjoying here pretty soon. These are hot out of the oven. Then look at all of those treats for you guys. Boy, howdy, anyone who missed today is going to be jealous. There's some that are still getting ready to go. There's your other treats, the mealworms and the cinnamon and sugar here, and then the salty mix there, basically Lori's seasoning salt, kind of like Red Robin seasoning. And then all the cookies that are mixed up with the crickets. Rachel Ray and Martha Stewart eat your heart out.